Hey everybody, Perry Jokers here. I wanted to talk to you about um, publishers and what's been going on this year with a lot of the games that have come out this year that have been broken. I'm a gamer. I've been playing games pretty much my entire life. And this year has probably been the worst year that I can recall for games to be released and then have major issues. The games aren't even complete. I look at Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs had a lot of issues with that when that was released. Uh, let's see, you had 343 Studios with Halo. That just, when they released a Master Chief collection in the last two weeks, I've read nothing up but problems that they had with the matchmaking system online. And Halo's been around for 10 years. Why are they having issues with that now? Call of Duty has been okay, but they are still... I mean, I played some games this morning, and I was still experiencing really bad lag. I know they have tweaked some things, but the lag in that was still horrendous. I did buy uh, Far Cry 4 for the PS4. I mean, I pretty much play everything on the PS4. Um, with I did wait. I didn't go at midnight release to pick up Far Cry 4. I, I did wait a couple of days. I picked it up on Friday. So, from that standpoint, I, I wanted to see if there was too many bugs. I did read that there were some issues with it. Nothing like what Assassin's Creed was going through. But I'm, I'm curious why... I know we have the power. Well, we supposedly have the power to dictate to these companies what we will and won't accept. But why are they putting out all of these broken games? It's pretty sad, actually, that they've got these massive budgets, and I don't know if it's the, the publishers that are putting the pressure on the game developers because, you know, their deadline is coming, and when they set that deadline, they don't want to, you know, push the games back at all. But what is wrong with that? Yes, there were a lot of games that did get pushed back already this year. Uh, what is it? Evolve... Battlefield, uh, Batman. I mean, Batman got was supposed to come out in October, and that's been pushed all the way back to June. I mean, that that's not just like a few weeks. That's that's months. I mean, that's half a year that they've pushed it back. More than half a year that that game got pushed back. I mean, that's and that's Rocksteady who who's doing that game, and that game is. You know, those games are phenomenal. But take take Naughty Dog, for example. Naughty Dog, when they were going to release The Last of Us last year, they did push it back. I believe it was originally supposed to come out in March, and then they pushed it back to June. They wanted to get the game right, and that game was phenomenal. How many Naughty Dog games can you think of where the games are released and they're broken? EA, geez, I don't even think Battlefield 4 is still fixed, and that's been over a year. I just, I'm beyond tired of these games coming out and then being broken, or, you know, everybody's gotten accustomed to the day one patch. But after that, you've got major issues with these things. You've got DLC, day one DLC. It's like, well, why is it the day one DLC? Why was that not included in the game? Same with, uh, with, like, Destiny did. I mean, that was Bungie, and look at all the problems that they've had. I just, I don't understand why publishers think that they can do it. And I guess we're just buying their games anyway. Hopefully, it's corrected in 2015, since most of the big titles have already come out now this year. And we can get, we can get better games, better quality in 2015. That's my hope anyway. But... Anyway, I was just kind of venting there, so thanks for watching. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.